All right, let's go to uh, Yvonne in New York. I've got your answers. All right, let's go to uh, Yvonne in New York. Yvonne, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, Brad. And you? Good, good. What's going on? I am calling because I want us to know what is a re-entry permit. A uh, re-entry permit is a permit. Well, basically, let me give you the, the background of a re-entry permit. It allows you to re-enter the United States, obviously. It's self-explanatory. But why do you need a re-entry permit? Because the law says if you have lawful permanent residence and you're not living lawfully as a permanent resident in the United States, you're not allowed back in America. So, for example, what is lawful permanent residence is you have to be in the U.S. more often than not. You have to be yeah. in the U.S. for at least six months every year. You know, everybody says, you know, they don't question you if, you know, you can stay out for up to six months and then they come back and they don't question you. Yes, that's correct. But if you're going to come for a week every six months, eventually you're going to be stopped from coming in the United States of America because they're going to say you're, you're living permanently somewhere else. You're not permanently living in America. So what a re-entry permit is, it's done on the form I-131, and it's done while you're here, before you leave the U.S. You say, I am going to temporarily leave the United States for a period more than six months, and for a temporary period of time, I am going to be living permanently somewhere else. But I intend to return to be a lawful permanent resident within the next three years, and let me tell you why. I'm going home yes. to take care of mama. I have, a, I, have a, I have a temporary contractual job. I'm going to a college, but I'm gonna be back in three yes. years. Uh, so don't, don't, uh, don't take my green card away. And that's basically okay. what it is. So if you're gonna be out of the country for one, two, three years, but you know you're gonna come back and you don't wanna give up your green card, you do the reentry permit. So if the person had stayed over there for 10 months and just came back, they have to do a re-entry? If they're going to go back for another 10 months, yes. If they're, if, less than the 10 months? If they're going to just be staying here, then not a problem. You, you're con the concern is that you're going to go, you, you stayed for 10 months, you got back in, so they gave you back your lawful residence. Mm -hmm. You go back for six months. Yes. Maybe, maybe when you come back to the U.S., maybe they let you in, maybe they don't. I don't know. You're going to say, you know what? You were out for 10 months, you came in for two weeks, and now you're out for six months. So in the last 16 months, you were in the United States for two weeks. Yeah. They're going to give you a problem. Yeah, you would do a reentry permit. If, if it's a situation where I'm here for 10 months, and I'm, I was out for 10 months, I'm back, and now I'm here for six months, and then I go home. Then I go home for two weeks and come back. No, you don't need a reentry permit. You're fine. So it depends. Okay. Depends what your situation is. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you so right. much. But it's done while you're here before you leave. Yeah. And how long does that take to do? Well, you it, you have to wait here long enough just to take a fingerprint, which is a few weeks. Hopefully okay. they call you within a few weeks. I don't know what's going on now with coronavirus, but yeah. they should fingerprint you within a few weeks, and then I you know. can go. And, and then once you fingerprint, you can go, and then they'll mail you the reentry permit from where, in whatever country you're in. Okay, thank you so right. much, Brad. All right, my pleasure. Goodbye. All right. All right, let's go to Junior in Cincinnati, Ohio. Junior. Oh, hello. Hi, hello. how are you? I'm doing fine. What's going on? I have a question. I have a question. I'm 23, and I want my dad to sponsor me. Is that possible what I'm still in the U.S.? I overstayed my visa. Absolutely. He's, yeah, he's going to file a visa petition. You're going to be on a waiting list for a bit of time. And at the end of that waiting list, whether it's five years or six years or whatever it may be, you're going to have to do a provisional waiver, go home and come back. But yes, there is a plausible way, but it's going to be a while. So uh, I, I have to go back, right? Not at the moment. But yes, you, uh, you would have to ultimately get a green card appointment in your home country but if you've overstayed your time, you're going to need to do a provisional waiver before you leave. You just can't leave because then you'll have a 10-year bar. Okay, thank you, Sue. You're very welcome. All right, let's go to Ilona in Madison, New Jersey. Ilona. Uh, hi, Brad. How hi, are you? how are you? Good, thank you. Um, I was going to ask you, like, I did file my taxes before July 15th, uh, but I, IRS rejected and I asked my accountant, but she said she doesn't know the reason. And then I called IRS, and they told me that my taxes are duplicated. 
So now uh, they're going to investigate me for 14 months uh, because my accountant did, did a mistake. She filed wrong. Uh, yeah. So I just want to know, like, can this affect my immigration status? Well, what is your immigration status? Uh, right now I'm waiting for my uh, reference for evidence. Okay, so you filed an adjustment. Uh, unless yeah. unless you're arrested for a crime, it's not going to affect your immigration status at all. So unless you did something criminal, which it doesn't sound like you did, just sounds like somebody made a mistake on your taxes. I don't I don't see that as an issue. Um, yeah, but, but this is my first time filing taxes because I didn't vote before. Mm -hmm. So that's my concern. Well, what I would suggest you... I'm not a tax expert, but what I would suggest okay. you do is go speak to a second accountant. But as far as immigration is concerned, if you filed your taxes incorrectly or you filed duplicate taxes or there's two separate tax returns filed under, you know, whatever it is, uh, as long as ultimately it's just resolved with the IRS and they don't, you know, call in the federal, you know, the feds to arrest you because you committed some sort of crime. I never heard of a crime of paying taxes twice. OK, the government should be thanking you, not not, not investigating you. You know, you paid taxes twice. Thank no, you. No. But um, uh, but um, I, I don't know what what it is that the accountant did. But, you know, in all honesty, okay. I, uh, I wasn't clear. I'm sorry. Yeah. So here's the thing. I got stimulus check, and you got a what? Uh, when I yes, my stimulus check. Uh huh. When I got it, so I did non file So right now, in my uh, status, it's showing only a non filer You know, it doesn't show that I paid taxes or anything, because my accountant she made mistakes. She's supposed to check that. Um, box on the top. That's what IRS told me. I think. I didn't. think whatever mistake is made by an accountant is fixable. Uh, again, I'm not oh, okay. a tax expert, but I would hold on one second. Let's get you to a tax expert and fix it okay. uh, before you. you freak out for no reason and screw up your immigration <laughs> case for no reason. All right, so hold on one second. All right. Okay, thank you. All right. All right, let's go to Destiny in Lebanon, New Hampshire. Destiny. Hi, Destiny. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good how are you doing? How are you doing? I'm doing very good. What's Finally going on? I get to speak with you again. Oh, my. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, so uh, just a quick question for you. I am a permanent resident, and um, I want to ask, can I file a petition for for my siblings? Can you file a... No, you cannot. You have to be a citizen to file for your siblings. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. By the way, it's one of those weird, wacky Thursdays. We have a whole bunch of open lines. So if you do want to call, I will be able to get your immigration questions answered. 1-800-529-5465. Somewhere is Dwayne The Rock Johnson recovering from coronavirus with my head and a sign on it. Hopefully we can bring that across a few times. Let's go to Marciella in Fort Worth, Texas. Marciella. Um, hello. How are um, you? I am a U.S. I'm doing well, thank you. Um, I am a U.S. citizen petitioned mm -hmm. for my husband. We got the approval letter. It says um, section husband or wife of a U.S. citizen 201B INA. Does that mean he's exempt from the um, public charge ground? Why would he be exempt? He's filing for who? I am filing for him. I, I petitioned this is your, him. This is your husband? Yes. Why would you think he's exempt from public charge? Um, I don't. I was just reading the instructions. And oh no, he's not. He is not exempt. You're a U.S. citizen okay. spouse filing. You need to do an affidavit of support and show that you can support him above the poverty level. Okay, perfect. On the um, eight sixty four, when I am, um, I am filling it out. So we filed our taxes together. So for my income. Um, do I put down there whatever we made both of no, us? No, it, 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 it would be your income. Okay, got it. Perfect. Right. Thank you. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Olivia in Long Island. Olivia. Hi, good evening, Dad. Right, how, how are, are you? you? Good. Hi, I have a question. Um, my boyfriend came to visit from Jamaica about a month ago, mm -hmm. and we have decided to get married. I'm just wondering what are the steps we could take to for him to become a permanent resident? Well, at this moment, he came a month ago? Yeah. Okay, you're a resident or a citizen? I'm a citizen. Okay, all right. 
the first thing to do is nothing today. Don't do any steps today. After okay. 90 days of him physically being here, not 89, not 88, after 90, then you can discuss getting married and marrying him. If you marry him within the first 90 days of his entry, that's a fraud on his part because he came as a visitor, you got married and then ultimately applied for a green card, they're gonna say he came for the purposes of getting married, which you can't do as okay. a visitor. So you gotta wait 90 days. After 90 days, you get married. That's the first step you do. Then you file an adjustment application, that's step two. Okay. And if you need help, hold on. Let's go to Julius in Maryland, Julius. Hi. Hi, uh, Good day. Good day. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I want to ask a question. Uh, is it necessary to file immediately after getting married, or you have to wait like a few months? Well, I, I'm, I, I'm a. You know, everybody. Everybody can differ. Legally, you can file the next day. I'm of the opinion oh. file the next day. What the hell are you waiting for? Uh, you know, you're not outsmarting the government by saying, oh, I really, you know, I'm going to wait a few months and then they won't think I'm just getting married to get a green card. They all know you got married and you need a green card. So whether you wait six months or you file the next day, it's not like you're changing anybody's mind. You got to prove you and your oh. wife live together and you have a financial relationship. And if you do, whether you file the day after you get married, six months after you get married, it doesn't matter. Go file. So my opinion is file. Get your benefits. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go to Jermaine in New York. Jermaine. Hello, Brad. Hi, Jermaine. How are you? I'm fine. Um, I was just working on my I-485, mm -hmm. and I was stuck on one question. It asks, have you ever been the defendant or the accused in a criminal proceeding included pretrial diversion, deferred prosecution, deferred adjudication, or any withheld adjudication? Do you know what that means? Uh, yes. Um, it means that were you ever, if you were arrested, say, for example, pretrial intervention means you were found ultimately uh, innocent as long as you did some sort of program. Uh, so all of those were some sort of diversion, basically uh, diversion program, pretrial intervention, or the DA dropped the charges. But if any charging document you ever arrested, you put handcuffs on and you got this and you went to see a judge, they want to know about it. Okay, thank you so much. All right. Let's go to Stephanie in Houston. Yes. Stephanie. Yes. Hi, how are you? Yes, Uncle Brad. Yeah, this is um, Stephanie. I'm calling. I have a question. Uh, um, how long, if somebody wants to file a VAWA case, like if the abuse happened, like, you know, like four years, you know, is it okay to still go ahead and file the VAWA? You can always file a VAWA as long as uh, you're either married to the man or divorced for less than two years. No, we're still married, but... Okay, so, so, the, answer, so the, an the answer is yes, you can file your VAWA. Um, the longer it takes for you to file the VAWA, just the evidence disappears, it's harder to prove. But yet, yeah, the answer is yes, you can file. There's no, there's, the only statute of limitations is, has to be done within two years of a divorce. Okay, but we're still married. We're not divorced yet, but we are still so going the, through. The, the answer is yes, you can file the VAWA. So hold on if you need help. Oh. All right, let's go to Sam in Sacramento. Sam. Uh, hi, Mr. Brad. Uh, good afternoon. How are you doing? My name is Sam. Actually, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm calling there. I actually want to ask her a couple of questions. Uh, the normal one is I want to know how... Uh, is it possible for uh, someone with a 10 years green card to file for a fiancé visa? No. You have to be a citizen. Okay. You have to be a citizen. Okay. Uh, another one is uh, I just put in my removal of condition from my, for my 10 years green card. And I want to know how, how long is it going to take to... I haven't gotten uh, all the, the extension yet, but I just put in like two weeks ago. Yeah, the extension, so the extension should come in about four to six weeks from the time you file, but then to actually go through the whole process, immigration is taking like two years now. Two years now? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Mr. Brady. Hang in there. Great job. Hang in there. Yeah. All right. Let's go to Samir in uh, Queens. Samir. Hello, Bert. How, How are, are you? you? I'm good, good. 
Uh, okay, I have a, two questions. The first one is, like I always see your show, you saying if you marry to U.S. citizen and you, your marriage is still continue valid until two years and nine months, you can apply, the person can apply their citizenship. Two years, nine months, three and days. Three months, uh, nine months, three, three years, nine months, three days, yes. Right. And if somehow, if the couple, they get separated or get divorced, still uh, he can able or she can able to do it but now, they have to do another two years right you would have to wait four years nine months and three days even if it divorced okay. okay not the whole complete five years four years nine months three days three days okay the second question is that uh, i used to live in a different state i moved to new york now right. and because of the divorce and everything and uh Do you think any anything anything they're gonna have a, gonna have a problem or anything that well, I have uh, why I live here or whenever I mean I move here I can still apply citizenship here right yes, in yes New York. you're allowed to live anywhere you want you're asking me will you have a problem I don't have the slightest idea all I know is you have a green card and you got divorced uh, that's all I know yes so, I have a permanent green card I yeah. know so you're asking me will you have a problem. I mean, no, the fact that you, you're allowed to you're allowed to move wherever you want and you're certainly allowed to uh, not be in, a, be in a, a happy marriage and get a divorce. Uh, the only thing you got to prove, whether you're doing it four years, nine months and three days or whatever it is, there was no fraud. Okay, already. All right. Thank you much. You're welcome. Thank you so much, Beth. My Happy pleasure. Yeah. All right, let's go to Daniela in Montgomery. Daniela. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.